Okay, so I figured it'd be easier to make a video than to try to type this out to explain it. So I have a file with a layer of just the black outline of the links here and the classic pride flag. I just ripped that off of a file off of Wikipedia. So on regular Photoshop, it's much easier to do this because there's more tools. Um, normally you would go under transform and then there would be another option in this drop down box called warp, which would bring up a grid that would form around your object that would have nodes that you could pull so you could distort your object. Um, Photoshop elements does not have that. So you have to kind of figure out a workaround. This is how I would do it is kind of line everything up here a little bit. Let me just kind of drag this down a little bit, get centered ish. So I would start by stretching out my flag to be the width of the links. So that'll work good enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter and down to distort. And then you're going to go down to liquify and make sure you got the correct layer clicked. So it brings it up in the editor here. So let's give it a minute. Okay. So now that you're on liquify, um, there's some settings over here that you'll want to play with. So, I don't know if you can really see the circle I got going on. So you've got a circle that, you know, if you kind of, you can mush stuff around with. So let me revert that. So you're going to want to make that circle about as wide or even a little bit slightly bigger than So slightly wider or as wide as, I could probably goose it down a little bit. Um, that's too small, let's try 20, 24, boom. Okay, so it'll fully hold, you know, contain the links. And then the pressure over here, the slider, you're gonna wanna put that up to 100. And you're just gonna have to kind of play around with it. And it's got a little plus for the center point just to kind of figure out the best center area to do this in. So, okay, I'm gonna make it the circle a little bit bigger. There we go. Because it was warping on these top corners a little bit the way I didn't need it to. So now I've got my circle just gigantic. And I'm gonna start. I've got my plus at the bottom of the, of the image centered and on the bottom. So I'm pulling up from the bottom and just kind of eyeballing it right now. I'm gonna go with that since that kind of seems to be similar to the warp of the of the three links. So I'm gonna hit okay. So it takes a little bit of kind of trial and error to get it to work. So now I'm gonna kind of smush it a little bit cause all the colors weren't f totally fitting in it. So. background in there just to see how it so there you have it that's how you do it